Russia, Return Peace to Your Country and Ukraine, Part 2 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples, held in English. Uh, is there anything you want to say? Any good news on your part? Did you read any? Oh, no time. Yes, we have some good news. Some? Yes. Tell me. Russia admitted that they are running out of weapons in Ukraine. And Turkey is now supporting Finland and Sweden's joining of NATO. That's good, very good. It's been uh, some time already. It's good. But Erdogan can gain something. Oh. Oh. Just make a win-win for him. That's oh. why. Oh. Ah. NATO make a win for Erdogan. That chief again. I'm telling you. Mm. Nothing good about that guy. Okay, what else? Um, the EU and Ukraine have signed a new road transport agreement. Ukrainian carriers will no longer need special permits to entry, transit, and transportation of goods to EU member states. Mm. Ukrainian driver's licenses will also be recognized by the EU. Mm. That's good. So they can quickly transport some food into the EU area. Yes. That's very good. Yes, Master. Yeah, because they already accept it. Ukraine is a candidate already. Yes, right. Yes, yes, that's right. That means Ukraine will remember, as well as the other country. Yes, yes master. master. Okay, very good. Yeah, any other things? Yes, one more. Nearly half of internally displaced Ukrainians have returned home. Uh -huh. The International Organization for Migration reported that over five and a half million people have returned to their homes yeah. in Ukraine. Oh, wonderful. Many areas are peaceful now. Yes. 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 Only the East is still in trouble. Right. And some are still under Russian occupation, but uh, other places are still with Ukraine independently. Mm. Yes. yes. Uh, I just hope they return all of this land to them so all the people can come back and do their jobs as farmers to nourish the world and be happy. They are not doing anything wrong ever. They are just mostly farmers doing God's command. Yes. 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 God told us you should take care of yourself by the sweat of your brow and your labor. Planting things? Mm, yes, yes, master. Maybe that's why most farmers, they're happy. Happy family, happy marriage. <laughs> that's what the research said. Mm, yes. Nice. Ah, another thing that made me happy today was that I read in the news that there's one lady she was 107 at that time. Oh, oh wow. wow. And they asked her, what's the secret? She said, not married. <laughs> the woman you're about to meet was born in 1912. Today, her friends and neighbors threw a big celebration to mark her 107th birthday. She ain't got no walking cane. She's not in the wheelchair. And she does all her shopping. And she's just awesome. I think the secret of 107, I never got married. <laughs> I think that's the secret. And I thought, oh, just like me now. Yeah. <laughs> so that will make you happy and live long. That's yes, right, yes. Yeah, some people would ask, what for? <laughs> <laughs> One of the secrets is to live alone, not get married. So I wanted to convey to all of you guys, <laughs> in-house Supreme Master Television workers, because you all are not married. <laughs> That's probably you will live long. <laughs> and Supreme Master Television will stay longer. That was a happy news. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. We are practicing it. Yes, yes. yes. yes Master. Okay, anything else? Not from us, Master. Okay, good. I'm going to read the story for the Russian people. Not just for you. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Master. Thank you, Master. One moment. I'll come back. Okay, this is a story from the Jewish folklore again. Uh, yes. Yes. I like these books because they have some just short, short stories, simple and uh, very meaningful. 
Yes, Master. Yes, yes, Master. So very easy for me to read. <laughs> Not easy to translate, but easy to read for me. So now there is a story about King David who mourned his son. The story begins like this. The son of King David got ill very seriously. Once King David knew that the sickness of his son was very, very tremendously dangerous, he took off his crown from his head, he took off his kingly attire, and then he dressed himself in very simple poor people's clothes. He went into a very, very quiet corner of the palace, and he sat down on the earth floor. He didn't want to eat. He refused all the food. He only read scriptures every day, one day after another, praying to God to spare his son and make him well. All of his uh, officials, even the elderly and others, came to him, begging him to please stand up and eat a little bit with them. But he refused. He just sat continuously where he was. And then on the seventh day, the son of King David passed away. Mm -hmm. So once he was praying and not eating, not drinking, nothing, just sitting there, and still his son died. It happened like that to many people as well, not just King David. Yes. 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 But this is life, Tel Aviv is like that. No matter what we want, God's will will be done. We can pray, we can beg, we can do anything to show our sincerity and our deep request. But still, the universal system will not always do what we want. So similarly, we are praying for world vegan every day, huh? Right. And world peace as well, huh? Yes. 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 It's our duty to pray. But it's not God's duty to listen to us. Mm. Yes, 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 Master. So now, on the seventh day, King David's son passed away. Those servants close to him did not dare to tell him this news. And they talked to each other. They said, how can we even go near the king with this kind of news? Mm. He's already refusing to eat, refusing to sleep, and anything at all, even when his son was still alive with sickness. And now, how can he bear it when we tell him that his son is dead? Even when the son was still there, just sick, the king already refused to eat, to drink, and did not do anything, just sat there and prayed. So now, if he knows his son is dead, how can he bear it? Mm. Mm. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? So first, nobody dared to go near the king and tell him about the death of his son. So one time, during the prayers, King David just uh, looked up a little bit and saw that his uh, servants were loitering around (laughs) and uh, murmuring to each other. So nobody dared to tell the king this uh, bad news. But the king saw them, you know, loitering around and frightened. So he asked them, what is it? Is my son dead? They say, yes, your majesty. He is dead. Then immediately, King David stood up, went to take a shower, washed himself, and dressed up in his kingly attire again. And then he went to the dining room to eat. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> and then he continued his kingly duty. Oh, wow. His uh, actions and attitude surprised his nearby subordinates. So they all came near him and asked him, Your Majesty, we don't understand what you are doing. When your son was severely sick, you went and sat on the dirt floor, refused to eat, and you cry and pray all the time. And then now your son is dead. You immediately stood up, went to eat everything and drink, and then now 
you sat back on your throne and did your work again as usual. We do not understand. Could you please explain to us? So King David told him, When my son was still alive, I still had hope. So I went on praying, crying, hoping that God will be merciful and uh, return his health to him and let him live. But now he is already dead. Why should I continue to pray or refuse to eat? Now I have to continue the life that I have, the duty that I must fulfill. Otherwise, I myself cannot bring him back to this life anyway. Can I? No. 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 The king said to himself, No. Whenever the time is up, I will also have to go like him. Mm. Mm. But he will never return to me in this lifetime. Mm. So, that yes. is the story. End. Ah, thank you. Everyone surprised, huh? Yes. 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 Including you, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. Because when the son was only sick, yeah, even severely sick, the king was already showing all kinds of sorrow and desperation and praying. Yes. 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 And when he died, he just became normal again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because he knew that life is like that, yeah? When it's time to go, you go. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Everyone has to go one day from this physical world. Right. Yes. 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 He was not just a king, he was an enlightened saint. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. So many people came and learned with him. Just like there were three brothers who came to learn with King Solomon before. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. And only one of them had enough faith to continue to stay. Right, right. Yes. The other two took the gold that the king <laughs> watched <laughs> them for all their time, <laughs> working for him like a payment, <laughs> and gone. Mm -hmm. But the youngest brother stayed and learned things that he could not even tell to the two brothers. Mm. Yes, right. yes, yes, Remember that? Yes, 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 yes. And we know what it is, don't we? Yes. Because yes. 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 at the time of initiation, we say, don't tell anyone else. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Because if you tell, you lose. You will lose. Right. Yes, right. Yes, yes. Now, the same King David, he's an enlightened king. Of course, when your loved ones or your son, your daughter, your family members, are in a serious condition, then you pray for them, no? That's yes, right. Yes, yes. And you feel so sorry that they have to go through such tremendous pain and sickness. So of course you cry, you pray, you do anything you can to pray God to help that person. Right, yes. that's true. But if his time is up already, he has to go, then he has to go. Exactly, yes. Right. There's nothing else you can do for him then, but let him go in peace. Right, right. yes. yes. So I also told you that if your parents or any of your loved ones or friends die, you don't cry. You make them delay their journey to heaven. It's better you pray for them. That's yes. right, yes. yes. That's all you do. If they have gone, then you know they go to heaven. If you are initiated, then you don't have to cry and delay them. Make them suffer. Right, yes, Master. It makes them feel sorrowful seeing you sad like that. The best is just to pray and wish them to go to the higher heaven. Right, yes. right. right. We and the animals are one family, although we don't look alike. We are human in this life, but could be an animal in the next life. If we kill animals and eat them now, retribution will come back to haunt us in the future. So let's keep the spirit of no killing and pass it down to our children. The Venerable Buddhist Master, Dao Ming, Vegan. Mm -hmm.